Hi guys, it's Sandra from The Inspired Keyboardist. And somebody asked me, what chords do I play during free worship? Is there a fixed formula that I play a certain chord progression all the time? Or do I play always play the bridge, the chorus, or the introduction? So here's my take on this. Um, tip number one, I really suggest not playing anything distracting. So if I'm playing a song that has a certain chord progression and then, okay, it's free worship and I make up a new chord progression, then that's new to the ears of people and that actually distracts them. So I highly discourage inventing or playing that usual chord progression just because um, it's free worship. Uh, tip number two, I will play a section of the song that we just sang. Um, and I will usually choose a section that's very repeatable. Often I try to play the section that we just finished singing. Um, so let's say it is um, Forever by um, Battle Church. And so we just finished the chorus, which is really high. Forever he is I will highly suggest playing the chorus again just because we just finished it and it helps people to carry on the momentum of worship using this song using this chord progression so I might just go into instrumental version of the chorus of um, Bethel Church Forever. So tip number two, I would highly suggest playing a section from the song that you just sang. Um, tip number three, that section that you choose to repeat for however long it is, and sometimes free worship can be pretty long, um, ideally the, the lyrics are very worshipable. So what do I mean by that? If you look at Forever, um, and I hope you know the song, if you don't know, go ahead and learn up that song. It's a wonderful and amazing song from Bethel Church. If you look at Forever, the, the this is a very kind of story unfolding song at the start. So if I were to repeat a section, I would certainly repeat the chorus and the words go, Forever he is glorified, forever he is lifted high, forever he is risen, he is alive, he is alive. And that's a very repeatable section because no matter what people are doing, maybe they're on the floor kneeling, maybe they're raising their hands, closing their eyes, they can sing that again and again. Now, I don't think the verse of the song is very repeatable though. The moon and stars, they wept. The morning sun was dead. The savior of the world was fallen. It's quite, yes, you can repeat it, but it's a lot more like a story unfolding. So if you really have free choice about which section to repeat, I highly suggest choosing something that's not so story-like, but something that's repeatably very praise, very strong on praising God, and just so repeatable. Like even the chord progressions are very repeatable as well. So I highly suggest, um, in this case, using the chorus, which is forever he is glorified, um, very repeatable words and chords. And um, now I also think that yeah, lyrics are as important as chords, so do think about what the lyrics actually say. So as a keyboardist, sometimes we just think about chords. I'm guilty of that all the time. I think about, I think in terms of chords, um, but sometimes I'll ask myself, do I really want to play that? What do the words say? So as a keyboardist, as a musician in a church band, I highly suggest going home before going to church for <coughs> your worship set really looking through and if you can, memorizing and even just worshipping to the song that you're going to play so that you have an idea of what the words are saying. Um, and also that helps to prepare your spirit man to be in a state of worship so that when you lead people in worship, you are already, um, you've already been there. You've gone through that um, 
inner courts of worship and you can bleed people into the inner courts from the outer courts of worship. So I highly suggest being familiar with the lyrics as well so you know which section to repeat and so you know which chords and which section to play for free worship. I really hope this helped and if you have any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. Um, I hope this helped, so just give a thumbs up if it did, subscribe to the channel and um, even sign up for my email list. Really hope to see you again. See ya!